Welcome to a spreadsheet for solving ground water flow and pollution uh, problems. This spreadsheet is for uh, analysis of an aquifer test in a leaky aquifer, the Hantush or the Hantush Jacob solution, also the approach uh, given by Walton Hantush. And you can download the spreadsheet from this uh, website. And there are also some other interesting uh, websites. This website contains a large reference of uh, pumping tests and uh, slug tests. This is the, contains the original uh, works of Hantouche, it's a really good uh, reference. And this from the USGS have another spreadsheet for uh, pumping tests and uh, slug tests as well. So first, uh, let's begin with uh, enter uh, the data. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit. Okay, and you can enter here the data, the pumping rate of the pumping well. Okay, here we are, the distance from observation well to the pumping well. And you can copy here just the time drawdown data. Okay, so let's see. Okay, here we are. This is the field data, and this is the same data, but uh, just shifted, uh, yeah, and uh, that's the way I used to get the hydraulic parameters. The next step is to select the correct data here, and here, this is just for the graphical display, and uh, just to avoid uh, uh, logarithm of zero, you have to select the data, but you can can enter any up to thousand, fifty thousand data. Also, you can uh, get it from any storage device, uh, the data logo. Okay. So here we have the all the data, and I like to use Excel 2003 because it's just the same classical approach. You just pick here the first data and just move it to get a, a, well, one good, reasonable, good fit after uh, some trials, three, four, five trials. You have to take care with the mouse. Okay, maybe a little bit, it could be... Okay, not bad, maybe a little bit here. Okay, something upper. Oh much but you can also use uh, these uh, green cells I use green cells for input data and yellow for output data and in Excel uh, 2007 2003 you just type here the movement uh, okay maybe good and uh, it could be that uh, a, a good approach let's uh, move it here a little bit and you can find well the field data this uh, fit to this uh, curve so you get the transmissivity and the storage coefficient and also the r over b curve that is here 0.3 you can see here beside the mouse or is this curve so you just type here 0.3 and you get also the leakage factor, the resistance of the semicolon finite uh, layer, the hydraulic resistance, and the inverse, that is the leakage of the semicolon fine layer. If you have the thickness of that uh, semi pervious layer, you just type here, and you get also the vertical hydraulic uh, conductivity. Thank you very much.